What happens to us when we die? All of us have faced this question at one time or another. Many shrug it off, considering the question unanswerable. The Vedic literature answers this profound question by outlining broad principles that shape the soul's journey after the body dies. It consists of three successive stages. 1. The soul leaves the present body. 2. It travels to the location of its next body and 3. It enters the next body. 1. The soul's exit from the body. Vedic wisdom explains that death actually occurs when the soul permanently leaves the gross material body. At the time of death, the soul normally exits from one of the nine holes in the body which the Vedas refer to as the nine gates, the two eyes, the two ears, the two nostrils, the mouth, and the two excretory organs. The Brihada Ramyika Upanishad 4.4.1-2 describes the soul's departure. At the time of death, the area of his heart becomes lit, and by that light, the soul departs either through the eye, the head, or through other apertures of the body. And when he departs, the pranas, or life heirs, follow him to his next destination. His knowledge and his deeds follow him, as does his previous wisdom, if not specific details of his former life. Souls that are spiritually evolved generally depart from one of the seven holes in the head, whereas souls that have yet to sufficiently evolve depart from one of the two other holes. The point through which a soul departs indicates its next destination. The souls who depart through the holes in the head will continue on towards the higher, more evolved realms of the universe whereas the souls who depart through the other holes are headed toward lower, less evolved realms. 2. The Soul's Journey to the Next Body When the soul sets off on its journey to the next body, it is given a transitional body that is grosser than the subtle body and subtler than the gross body. Equipped with this body that the Vedic literature calls preta, the soul is taken by nature's arrangement to its next destination. The soul often finds this journey painful because in its present condition it is highly susceptible to pain. To help ease the soul's pain, the Vedic literatures like the Garuda Purana recommend that the relatives of the deceased person perform certain activities whose merit cushions the soul's onward journey. 3. The Soul's Entry into the Next Body Srimad Bhagavatam 3.31.1, a classic of the Vedic library, outlines one of the typical pathways by which the soul enters the body. The soul is made to enter into the womb of a woman through the particle of male semen to assume a particular type of body. What determines our next body? Which body a particular soul gets is determined by the broad principles that underlie the mechanism of reincarnation. This soul, after having thrown away the old and useless body, makes unto himself newer and hopefully better bodies according to his previous actions, ability, and desires. The Bhagavad Gita, 15.8, offers another metaphor to explain how the soul finds its next destination. Just as the air carries aromas, the soul carries its different conceptions of life from one body to another. And as we've already heard from the Bhagavad Gita 2.22, the body is like a piece of clothing for the soul. 
Reincarnation is therefore something like taking off an old suit and putting on a new one. Just as what suit we wear is usually determined by our taste and our budget, the soul's new suit is determined by its desires, its attachments, and the karma it has acquired.